Hi, this is Everett, Everett Sword Colors. Welcome to my studio. Uh, today I'm going to uh, review and go over the artist quality, uh, Holbein artist quality uh, color pencils. And these are these are really, really high quality pencils that are used in, in fine art. Uh, they blend so well and they, they go together, different colors and so forth. And uh, I want to review those and go over those again uh, to give you some ideas of how I use them. Let's go to my paint table and let's get started. These are the Holbein Artist colored pencils. These are the 12 sets. The 12 set in the called the basic tone set up here at the top. In the middle is the uh, pastel tone set. And then there's the design tone set here at the bottom. Okay, three separate sets of pencils and sets of colors. What I did, I went ahead and did a, I made a color chart of the three sets. The top one here is the uh, basic tone set. You can see the beautiful tones, beautiful colors, all the way from white all the way up to uh, car carmine, which is a nice, nice bright red. In the middle here is the pastel set, which is a less soft colors from wisteria all the way through to blues and greens, yellows, all the way up here to mauve, which is a nice soft of high purple, nice soft purple. Then at the bottom here is the design set, going from white all the way up to uh, magenta through the yellows and greens and blues, another another great color set. So these three color sets, and I'll bring this up nice and close so you can see the nice bright colors. I did that to demonstrate the uh, the colors of uh, what you could do. Also I did a I did a little quick study here. Just I used the pastel pencils. And what it was just a little little sea scene uh, in the sunrise or a sunset, depending on which way you want to look at it. And use the purples and the oranges and the reds uh, and the yellows down to the greens and the blues. I made a nice little uh, blending, blending of the pencil. So these colors, these colors in pencils really work nicely. Uh, they're so smooth, uh, soft, soft lead, but it's not brittle. Does not, I've never, I've not had a breakage at all on sharpening the pencils, which I've had, pro I've had plenty of problems with colored pencils in the past where uh, as you sharpen it it breaks off the points plain bristle uh, white paper on my uh, sketching pad and uh, this is the design I worked on this morning it was a, a com composition with the mountains and waters and so forth and this is the value study but what I use the colored pencils for is I go in and I do a, uh, a color study showing, showing some of the some of the colors I want to use and, and, and shapes and so forth. So here I picked uh, out of the design, out of the basic uh, tone set, I picked five, picked five colors here to start with. So uh, I'm going to start here with a purple. I'm going to draw in the mountain range. And I'd go in, I'd go in with a colored pencil, and it, because I want this this area darker. Here I'm using violet. I'm using a purple, purple color from the basic design set. I'm using a, a color purple from the basic tone set. So this is just to capture what's the shapes and I'm going to get the, the values I want. Another value I want to use here. So I'm just coloring in and see what uh, what colors would work in this particular paint. I'm going to do a painting with this. So before I do the painting, I want to do a little bit of uh, planning on what colors I want to use and what colors would go together for this particular scene. So now I'm adding a little bit of brown on top of that, on top of that purple. So this would be nice and dark, and I keep layering, keep layering it in. Uh, I'll even put a little bit of blue in there to darken up even more. So with colors on top, layering colors on top will make the will make the colors much darker. 
the darkest areas I want to have right there here at this point here because that's the area I want that's going to be the area of interest right here where the dark is and then I'll have a little a little lighter area back here with a little color in it and in the foreground very simply I'm going to have a, a foreground here with some some trees and bushes and so forth I'm not going to spend much time and I just want to block it in a little bit just to give you a demonstration of this and then for the this is the water here so actually I would start here a little darker as I go back toward the top it would be lighter. So this area down here would be darker blue into a lighter blue. So this area here would be that would become the the focal point because it's going to have the darks and lights against each other. Now, in order to blend that, I could keep working on the pencil and so forth. But what I'm going to show demonstrate now is using the Obine melts. A color pencil blender and it's a liquid it comes in a bottle and it's a I put a little bit of here's how I use it. I put a little bit into a little tray little little plastic tray here and then a little uh, just a little bucket of water and a regular a regular uh, watercolor brush now wet the brush and go into the liquid and you can see here the blending process here it blends very easily So this water, this water soluble solution called melts will blend the colors very nicely. Gives you a nice smooth application here. If I took the time, like I showed you with that pastel uh, drawing, I did uh, did several layers on top of each other to get a nice blend. I could do the same with these color pencils here. But I want to demonstrate the, the melts to show you how how quickly you can get a, a quick little study this little background here in the background and then a, a little bit of water coming up a little bit darker here in the foreground up to a lighter area up in there and then the foreground is just going to be uh, colored in But the impact area will be in this area right up here with the uh, lights in the dark, the darkest area against the lightest area. Okay, that, that gives me a little idea of the colors I can use and so forth. And when I paint it, uh, I'll use some of those colors to get started. And what, I've do, what I've done also is uh, I've organized my pencils what I, in this little carrier. And what I have here is a little carrier that I can carry around, very portable. And uh, this is the basic set I have already pulled it out. I couldn't wait to get started on this, so I went ahead and pulled the pencils out on this. But there's the 12 set here of the of the basic tone. And then next to that I have another set. Here's the 12 set of the pastels right next to it. And then my last set is the design tone set, which I have here. And I keep it in this little carrying case. Now I have all three sets in one little case. It's very portable, very convenient to carry around. So that finishes the, uh, the demonstration, but it also emphasizes the, the three sets of uh, 12 of the, uh, the basic tone set, the pastel set, and the design tone set. Now, these, these sets also come in, in sets of 24, 36, 50, 100, and up to 150 pencils in sets. Also, you can do them. By, uh, they're sold also individually uh, on my website, everswatercolors.com. All the supplies you saw today on the video are available on my website, everswatercolors.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Select the bell and uh, you'll be notified of my next video. See you in the next video.